boys and girls here. I, I wanted to ask you a question, boys and girls, um, because or a few questions, really, because next week we're doing something special in our church. It's called Compassion Sunday. Compassion Sunday. Does anybody, and I'll ask you to put your hands up really for this, but does anybody know, because compassion's a big word. Anybody have any idea what maybe compassion means? What's that word mean? Okay, we'll start with you, so. Kind of like kindness, I guess. Kind of like kindness. What's what's the word compassion mean to you guys? I don't know. No? <laughs> what compassion actually means is seeing somebody who has a need and feeling like they're trying to feel like they're feeling and then doing something to help them with that. That's yeah, kind of what it means. That's kind of what I was explaining, like oh. just in a different way. Like we're feeling yeah. something. Yeah. And we feel that. We see their needs and then we give them the need. So here's what I wanted to say. I, I was going to bring this out. Tell me, because I think you guys know. Yeah. We Who's did. this? Justin. Justin? And what can you tell me about Justin? I mean, yeah. So, yeah. Tell me, Grace. He buys a lot of groceries for his family. He, he buys groceries for his family. He okay. bought a fan, a blender. Oh, my. How old is Justin? Do you know? Ten. Yeah, that's how long we've been sponsoring him. We've been sponsoring him. Yeah, okay. I'm yeah, not so. sure. But I'm going to say something like around like 15, 16 years. He's, I'm going to show you another picture 15. of him. 15 or 16. He's, he's 17. Oh. He'll be 18 this summer. But this is a picture of him that I, that Mrs. Wendy and I took because we actually visited him when in his, at his home when he was a little boy. He's 17 now, but he was about 7 then. Can you believe that? I'm 7. You're 7. I thought there might be somebody here who's 7. How old are you, Preston? You're 5. Oh, no. Okay. no, four. He's four. No, he knows oh, his age. Really? <laughs> I want, oh, and what, do you know what country he's from? Sophie? The Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. Do you know some of the things that he likes to do? Yeah. Play oh, wait, back here. Yep. Yeah. He's very good at baseball. I saw him play baseball. He's very good. He also <laughs> likes to sing. He likes to do art. Those are some of the things that he likes to do. Now that we talk about Justin a little bit. Who remembers what compassion means? It basically means um, thinking about what it would be like in somebody else's situation and trying to help them. Yeah, that's good. Is that what you were going to say, Kenzie? I would, with my money, I would give them groceries and all kinds of stuff and recipes to make food and stuff, and I would give them enough money to get a house. Thank you for everybody for coming. Can I have high fives from everybody? Come on, Kent, bring it in. Got a girl. Hey. I'm the first and last. How magical that moment was when I knew that I have a sponsor now. It changed everything, literally. My name is Eric. I'm born in a family of eight children, four boys, four girls. My father died when I was eight years. And the time my father died, it changed the whole story. The relatives from his ancestral home came and took away all the wealth. At the time, we were barely left with nothing. Life was never the same at that point. It meant uh, not having access to better health, not having access to good education. We so much wanted to be at school, but we never had an opportunity. That was all gone. An uncle who worked with Compassion as a volunteer, he got in contact with my elder sister. Uh, they worked alongside with my mom to have us registered in a Compassion program. There was this big ray of hope, Compassion coming in. 
when I knew that I have a sponsor now. This was another highlight to me, like uh, getting a sponsor, it changed everything literally. I'm worth, I have a life, I'm loved. I'd just finished university. She came and surprised me. Is there anyone who would desire to come and like take care of you? Is there anyone who would be thinking about you? From the other end of the world, you receive news that someone is coming in. Actually, Eric, we have a message from Dorothy and we'd love to share it today. Hi, Eric. It is so good to be able to send you a message today. I had no idea the impact my sponsorship would have, and it's just been amazing to see how far you've come since I first started sponsoring you when you were eight. I am so proud of you, and I've definitely gained a friend for life. Keep in touch. Every time I think of Dorothy, I, I just see a person who changed the world, who saw a desert and believed that there is water. It can turn into a big tree. It can turn into a forest. Sponsoring a child with compassion is giving an opportunity to live. It's more than just picking a name. It's more than just sending the little money, writing letters. It's more of giving a life and making that life worth living and very meaningful. Well, hello friends and welcome today to what we call our Compassion Sunday or Compassion Weekend here at Russia Gornis Church. And and for those who've been connected to our church family for a while, you probably already know some of the backstory for this. You, you might know that already uh, that one of the things that we have placed an intentional focus on here for many years is international child sponsorship. And in particular, child sponsorship through the Ministry of Compassion Canada. That's where the title Compassion Sunday comes from. And it's become part of who we are really, actually. You know, over the years, there've been a, a lot of things that we have emphasized at the church for a little while and then moved on from for one reason or another, things we've started and then stopped a little later. This is one thing that's gone on with us for a long, long time. And as a result of that, from our little church family alone, and these are primarily as a result of our Compassion Weekends, we've seen 129 different children from over 20 different developing countries receive sponsorship that we know of and we currently have 61 sponsored children where we, that, and we've pro prominently displayed them on the church wall in the foyer where people can see them and pray over them regularly friends that's an amazing accomplishment and part of the reason that we have a compassion weekend just about every year is just to celebrate something that our church family is doing well it's actually one of the stories i love telling most when people ask me about my church family but the other reason we have a Compassion Sunday is because I believe that every year, God wants to touch someone's heart with the possibility of changing the world by changing the life of a child. There, there's actually a verse in Proverbs 4.27 that I stumbled across a long time ago that God has he's never allowed me to forget. And it simply says this, do not withhold good from those who deserve it when it's in your power to help them. Like, isn't that powerful? King Solomon wrote those words roughly 3,000 years ago, and they're included as part of what we call the wisdom literature in the Bible because there's so much wisdom in what he has, what he has to say there. Do not withhold good from those who deserve it when it's in your power to help them. And you know, as far as I can tell, when we look at that one particular nugget of wisdom, there are, there are really only two questions we need to ask here. And I'm relating it directly to the ministry of child sponsorship that we've been talking about here with Compassion. One is, do they deserve it? And the other is, do we have the power to help? 
Those are the questions, aren't they? And those are questions that each of us need to answer for ourselves, especially the second one. But I'll say this about the question of whether or not they deserve it, thinking of these children in developing nations. Wendy and I had the opportunity about 10 years ago to go on site to some of the areas where Compassion is working, specifically in the Dominican Republic. And while we were there, we actually visited some of the Compassion Centers, which are, by the way, all based in a local church right in the community where the people are living. And the atmosphere in these centers is, is amazing, really. Like, children who might never have an opportunity otherwise get to go to school there. And they receive health and dental care while they're there as well. And they're given proper nutritional food and often supplemental food sent back to their extended families with them. And in, in the middle of all of everything else, in a non-coercive way, they're told and demonstrated to, to about the good news of Jesus and, and have had the opportunity to grow in their understanding of God and what he's done for us and invite Jesus into their lives by faith. And like I said, we visited these centers and saw how they actually worked on the ground. And, and, and there, there's a lot of laughter in these places, a lot of smiling children. But we also got to visit some of the children in their homes. And I can tell you that some of the homes these children come from are heartbreaking. Like we are so spoiled in our part of the world that most of us can't imagine. We just can't imagine it. Having a, not having a proper roof over our head or clothing to wear or safe a place to sleep, to lay our heads. Most of us have never had to think about our own children having to go through a day without enough food to actually sustain them. And the recurring thought that I had as we were visiting in some of these homes at that time where, where compassion sponsors are making a difference and giving them hope by sponsoring one of their children was why does this child deserve any less than my own children have? Like why does this child deserve any less than me? Do not withhold good from those who deserve it when it's in your power to help them. So for me, that only leaves the question of whether we have the power to do something about it. They deserve it. Do we have the power? And I'll just tell you, to sponsor a child through compassion, the cost per month is $47. And I know that we all have financial commitments and responsibilities in our lives. I can't imagine that very many of us are sitting around waiting for someone to come and relieve us of the burden of all the extra money we have. But it's sort of relative, isn't it? I mean, how many of us have a cell phone plan that's more than $47 a month? I don't know if you can even find one like that anymore. How many of us have a satellite or a cable bill or a combination of streaming services that add up to more than $47 a month? How many of us stop for coffee at Tim Hortons every day or, or go to the movies a couple of times a month because that adds up, right? And, and listen, I'm not just saying to to get rid of all of that, that I, I know better than to ask coffee drinkers to give up their coffee. And again, I'm not going to pretend I know what your own situation is. But those are the kinds of questions I think we need to ask in light of Proverbs 4.27. Is it in our power, living where we do with what we have available to us, to do anything about it? As an organization, Compassion has consistently received the highest rating from all the watchdog agencies for financial integrity. And so the money, all, all donated monies are carefully accounted for. And the best part about it is that sponsoring a child isn't nearly as arm's length as you might expect. Like one of the children that Wendy and I sponsor, we've had since 2008. And he'll be graduating from the program in the fall, but for 16 years now, We've had the opportunity to watch him grow from a, a little boy to a young man. We keep getting new pictures all the time. And, and we've exchanged enough letters now that we, even, we feel like he's one of ours, even though he lives in Tanzania and we've never personally met. We, we feel that about all of our sponsored children. And because of that, we have absolutely no regrets. We feel so blessed, actually, for it, uh, for to be, uh, it have been to be in our power to help, right? Do not withhold good from those who deserve it when it's in your power to help them. And if I could encourage you, if the Lord is laying it on your heart to sponsor a child, uh, on the screen here, we put a link to a dedicated landing page specifically set up for our own Compassion Sunday where you can make the decision to use the power that you have to extend good to someone who deserves it. Have a look at that, friends, and ask yourself and ask the Lord what it is that he's calling you to do. Thank you for considering. May the Lord bless you today and every day as we seek to glorify God in all that we do. Would you join me in prayer? Let's pray. 
Dear God in heaven, thank you for your great goodness to us and thank you that we live in a part of the world where we have an opportunity in front of us to actually change the life trajectory for a child in one of many developing nations. Lord, we ask that you would show us what we can do to make a difference in our world for you. And we pray specifically for the person who is thinking about child sponsorship right now, that you would lead them into your will, wherever that might take them. Thank you again, dear Lord, for all of your many blessings. And we pray it all in Jesus' name. Amen.